Salam and welcome back to another very exciting breakdown video. Today I'm going to show you how I created this photo manipulation right inside of Photoshop. Now this is something I made uh, quite a while ago, about like three to four years ago. So this might not seem, this might not look that good uh, compared to my newest photo manipulations. If you are following me on Instagram, if you don't, go ahead and follow me on Instagram right now. And um, some of these techniques are also old. So yeah, if you want to know how I create shadows, I don't create shadows like this anymore. So if you want to know that, um, watch one of my newest tutorials so that you are up to date. And as you can see, even these um, balloons, I did a quite janky cut out of this balloons um yeah it's really bad i don't know why i'm even breaking it down anyway let's get started all right so before starting um if you want to download these pictures um i will try and leave the links um to these pictures in the description I, I i actually don't know what these pictures are taken from but i will try to find them so yeah let's get started so i inserted this image into the photoshop um yeah this is just a simple image of a uh, plan wing and uh, yeah i did some curves adjustments to this guy i will show you guys real quick just a simple uh, brightness AI increased the brightness and um, maybe lowered um, the blue channel doesn't make much of a difference but um, just wanted to brighten it up a little bit and yeah I brought um, this guy so one of the things that I do all the time is um, I bring the subject into the picture and i decrease the opacity to check if um it aligns if the perspective is right and if the scaling and everything is good i bring it back and i use the pen tool to cut out this guy just like that yeah just make a cut out of this guy and we don't want the part from the below then um, here so we don't want the leg is cut out from here and this is the result and i use the refine brush tool just to refine the hair it's nothing new and yeah i created a new layer and gave it some shadows if i hide this layer it's just a bunch of strokes a bunch of brush strokes just Take a black color and just like that. Nothing too fancy. The next step is, um, yeah, this step. This is, this is another shadow. This is going to be, I assumed the light is coming from the left side. If you look, the, if you look at the clouds, you can see that the sunlight, there is a sharp highlight on the left side of these clouds. So. I wanted to give it a, a bit more of the shadows so I actually should have given this guy this plain wing some more shadows as well kind of kind of make it consistent if I remove the if I remove the mask you can see that it's just a bunch of strokes nothing too fancy yeah, so the next thing is, um, okay, I don't know why, why is this thing here? Okay, I don't know, I think this is the original image, I didn't want to, I wanted to keep the original hidden, in case if I wanted to come back, and what is this, yeah, I think, yeah, I, ex I experimented with different pictures, so this is also, an image that I was considering to make I ended up using this one instead okay so 
time to put some more shadows i think onto this guy as you can see this is a shadow on the kids um, thighs and the short just like that and i gave this guy some more shadows it looks really janky but i hope you guys liked it i did get some very good feedback for this um, photo manipulation as well i don't know yeah and this is another highlight i, I guess yeah i made this guy multiply and uh, this is a shadow i should have renamed these guys um this is the highlight I made it overlay and decrease the opacity this is how it looks like um i gave it maybe 50 and i gave it overlay okay so the next thing is to bring the the balloons where is i think this is the one yeah um i don't have the original picture of this but i think i can find it online i totally destroyed this this picture so that is the reason I couldn't recover it. So yeah, this is the balloon picture and I cut out this guy as well. And uh, yeah, I got rid of this um, very janky line. Got rid of that. And I drew um, a line of my own. Just took the brush tool, this is nothing too fancy. Just took the brush tool increase the opacity to 100 percent and just take this color just draw it shouldn't be that perfect just like this yeah and uh, yeah the next thing is um to give it um this highlight this overhead um light that is coming from the left side the upper left corner <clears throat> this is indicating that the sunlight is coming from this side and that is why the shadow is like this and yeah i think that is pretty much it okay the next thing is um to bring this guy this is something that i, I get asked a lot how i create this flare this is very easy by the way just create a new layer go to edit fill go down here on uh, 50 percent gray this okay let's go to filter mm, render and uh, lens flare yep just like that you have a lens flare at your control and you can put it anywhere just like that increase the brightness to all that cool stuff press okay and just give it a maybe screen i think wait let me see yeah vivid light vivid light seems okay the next thing i did was um just i just gave that that part of the image a little bit darker than before so that my logo can be seen yeah that is pretty much it i hope you all enjoyed this uh, breakdown video let me know what you guys think about this one in the comments let me know what i could have done better in this one um, i definitely could have let's face it i could have made it much much better yeah but um i think that is what this series is all about um going back to my old designs old uh, photoshop works and um trying to figure out better ways to um to design if you like this video please consider subscribing help me reach to 1000 subscribers guys who knows i might do something special um i hope i'll see you guys in the next video until then salam.